Hey my friends, today we will talk about two LoRa's for Quen Image Edit 2509. The one is the next scene LoRa. Yeah, it allows you to create a next scene from a base image. And the other one is the multiple angles LoRa, which allows you to rotate the scene. I have rendered such an image here with both LoRa's. And first the man sits. And here the camera rotates and the man stands now. Initial image and final result. I couldn't spot any significant differences. And what's most important is the character is consistent. This is great. This allows me to develop whole stories now. These two LoRa's place wonderfully together. So I made it one workflow that contains both LoRa's I have isolated it from the original workflows of the LoRa's. Both LoRa's are available at GitHub. Uh, Hugging Face, not GitHub. Hugging Face, this is the first one. Next scene, Quen Image LoRa. Here you have the Tensor Files. Uh, Tensor Files, version 2 is the actual. And here you have the workflow for it. And same goes for the other multiple angles. Also, um, this one you need to rename. This Chinese science doesn't work at Windows in the Western world. And also here you have an example workflow. Before we continue, I want to take the opportunity to say thank you to the maker of this LoRa. These LoRa's is really great stuff. And I want to say thank you in general to the whole open source community who offers and shares their work for free. It is a great pleasure to see that the world is not only made for f of free riders, but of people that actually have to give something. I live this spirit since decades. I take and I give, not only workflows. Some of you might know that I am one of the developers of the 3D software B for Artists. And it is always a great to see that I am not the only one. Thank you, friends. The reason why I mention it at all is that I see more and more people selling ComfyUI workflows at Patreon. This is of course not illegal, but I personally find it highly disgusting. It is like selling the 3D software Blender. There are a few scams out there who does exactly that. Also not illegal, but hey, the software is free, so why pay for it? Friends, never pay for workflows. It is like paying for sentences that others have written. There are a few exceptions, but usually a node or a LoRa comes with a description or even an example workflow how to use it. We have it here. This here is the example workflow. Also here, here is the example workflow. And for custom nodes, you can even find the workflows right here in ComfyUI. Let me have a look here. This is browse templates. And when you scroll down, then you have the extensions and the usually also contains the workflows. This one has missing nodes, but you get the idea. You go to workflows, browse templates, go down. And here we have the single, the single, this is for example, the workflow that comes with one of my nodes and the workflow is all there. So why should you be so crazy to buy this workflow from Patreon then? Yeah, correct, you should not. It is all there, freely available. When in doubt, simply contact the original node author. Most of them are happy to help out or ask in the Comfy UI community. Anyways, and back to topic and to the usual disclaimer. When you get red notes like with this workflow here, go to Manager, Install Missing Custom Notes, and then the missing notes appears check it, click at install and restart Comfy afterwards. Back to the workflows. Just to give you an idea, these are the original workflows here for the two LoRa's and they look a bit more complicated and a bit more overwhelming. They have simply much more stuff involved and this is not what I wanted. I want it simple for one image. The purpose of these workflows here is you can work with a list of prompts and they're generated all at once. And this is as told not what I wanted. 
also here you have here this feature here yeah you type in here you have the prompts six prompts incrementer this is a solution that runs through this six prompts at once and generates the images so when your goal is to work with multi prompts then use these workflows They can be found here in the hugging face location. I need a bit more control. So I made it single image and as told, I have uniot both LoRa's into one workflow. The choice is yours if you want to work with both LoRa's at once or just one after another. Um, it can be that the camera LoRa is a bit picky here, it didn't really rotate dramatically, but it rotated. So this one here arrived. Not necessarily. So I usually work one after another. Let's have a closer look at the components. First the models, the usual stuff. Um, diffusion model, clip model, VAE. Here you can find the download locations and where to put them. Now for the image, there is also this node here. This is the normal input image. It, you have to manually change it. There is this node here that promises auto refresh after generation. This doesn't really always work. So you have to click the refresh button anyways. And that's why I use the load image button. I always need to generate three or four tries anyways before I am happy. It is here. You can replace it, but it is not really reliable, this node here. When you want to replace it, Bypass this node, turn this one on, bypass, then connect image with image one. And the same for the negative prompt. And then you need to put it into the image B. This is very picky here. Two, and then you can use this node. Um, when I generate this image here now, then it promises us told that the last generated image is shown here. This is not reliable. It is auto refresh is on, but I always need to click the refresh button anyways. When you want to know how to use this node, now you know, as told, simply reconnect it. Let's revert this. Uh, this one here. Image one into positive prompt, image one into negative prompt, and again into the image comparer. From here now, let's bypass this here to make it inactive and this here on again. And then we are back at the original workflow. The prompt um, depends of which LoRa you use. There are two advices. Here is for the multiple angles. Here you have the advices for the camera, what it should do. And then we have the advice for the next scene LoRa. And yeah, this is an example here. Also, this is an example. I have added here the rotate camera and it somehow arrives sometimes, not really fully. So I prefer to, hmm, let's put this out of the way again. So I prefer to use the LoRa's one after another. First, I use the um, next scene LoRa to have my scene and then I look if it is necessary to adjust something with a better camera angle. Also notice that Quen allows negative prompt. I don't have anything in, in here. I don't need it here. But just in case, it is possible. Um, Flux doesn't allow it. Quen does. The LoRa's. We have here the Lightning LoRa. This is to speed things up. Um, without the Lightning LoRa, such an image would need up to four minutes. And with the Lightning LoRa, four steps, um, we are down to 30 seconds. This is much faster. And then we have the two LoRa's. You can turn them on or off how you, in, in the way you need it. These LoRa's are also mentioned here in the model links. As told, these are the project pages for the LoRa's. And here we have the download links. This one is a direct download. This one leads you to the main page because the model contains Chinese signs and the direct link doesn't work. You have to download it manually and rename it. Don't forget to rename. The value here is 
0.7, which seems to be just fine. For the multiple angles, I have a value of 1. The sampling part. This comes from Quen Image Edit. The default value here is what I also use. Then we have here a um, node. Um, and you don't use the Lightning LoRa, this one here. When you turn this off, then you need to turn this one on. Bypass, and then it is on again. But we use the LoRa, so off with it. Here you can adjust the size of the output image. Then we come already to the case sampler. Um, Euler seems to work fine. Euler and Chestral, I have picked Euler and Chestral instead of the default Euler. Works fine. What doesn't work is DPM++. Like this one with Keras, it, you get a completely different image. So don't. This seems to be fine. And then we are basically through the workflow, since here comes already the image output. Save image, and this one is an image comparer node, so that you can see what has changed. Still keeping it. It is useful. So that was that for the workflow and the two new LoRa's that I use here. Good luck and have fun!